Next on Done in a Weekend Projects, how to stripe your lawn like a pro. Hey there, Doug Scott with Redeem Your Ground. And once again, I've teamed up with our friends at Xmark to do another Done in a Weekend Projects video. Last year, Bass Pro and landscape expert Brian Latimer joined me to talk about lawn striping. So far, Mo Like a Pro has been viewed by thousands and thousands of people. So first, thanks for that. But many of you have asked us to go deeper, asking questions like, how does a striping kit work? What does it look like? And how can I really get that professional stripe look? Well, I've got good news, because today, Brian is back and he has answers to all of your questions. So without further ado, let's go to Brian and take a closer look at lawn striping. All right, Brian, take it away. Well, thanks, Doug. I am super excited today, guys, because I'm back again doing another Mo Like a Pro video. Let's pick up where we left off, but this time, we'll dig in a little deeper. Today, I'm going to answer some commonly asked questions about striping we received from our last Mo Like a Pro video. Then afterwards, we're going to go to a dealership and show you guys exactly how to install a striping kit. So one of the first questions that we got was, why do we even stripe a yard anyway? And that's an easy question to answer. When you stripe a yard, there is nothing else that makes it look more professional than striping it nice and neat. So that's the number one reason that we're gonna stripe a yard to begin with. Another reason is compaction. You can see we've got a nice piece of equipment here. You can cause a lot of compaction on your yard, so you really have to be intentional about spreading that weight across your yard. On each mowing, we're gonna switch the direction of which we mow. We're not compacting on the edges, we're not compacting around our fences or any other thing in the yard. That's very, very important in growing a healthy lawn is minimizing as much compaction as possible. Thirdly, and quite honestly, I think is most important in all of this is light penetration. Light penetration is absolutely essential in making your turf grass look the best that it can. When we're striping, grass lays one way when you go this way, and when you come back the other way, the grass blade lays that way. On the underside of that grass, it doesn't get near as much light penetration as the bottom size. So what we have to do is rotate our mowing patterns every time we mow, so that when it's laying this way on our next mow, when that striping kit comes, it makes the uh, grass blade lay over, and you get light on the other side, equaling out the light penetration, and now our lawn looks like you see the one behind us here, Primo. Another question that we had was about the proper maneuvering of our equipment when trying to create stripes. This is a question that I love to have. One thing that's very important is just staying straight. What I like to do is just pick out an object in your yard, whether it be a tree, a driveway, a window on a home, a fence line, and maintaining straight. As long as you start straight, you'll always be straight. So another question is asked is about multiple passes. Multiple passes definitely is a way to create that nice light to dark contrast on your yards, just like you see here behind me. But to avoid making multiple passes, which just increases soil compaction, the way that we avoid it is putting a striping kit on our mower. We get a nice light to dark contrast. It enhances that color very well and makes our yard look perfect on one pass. You can create stripes without a striping kit, but you can do it a lot faster with the striping kit that we're gonna install in our X mark today. All right, I just showed you all the ins and outs of striping a lawn. So now let's go to Anderson Power Equipment and I'm gonna show you exactly how we install a striping kit on my X mark mower. Now we're here in Anderson, South Carolina at my personal X mark dealer. We're gonna go inside right now and put a striping kit on my personal X mark mower. Hey, Brian, how you doing? How's it going, Philip? Good to see you today. Good to see you. Philip is our service tech here at Anderson Power Equipment, and he's gonna show you exactly how to install a striping kit on your X-Mark mower. Let's go get it done, Philip. Let's go get started. Yes, sir. Now we're here in the shop, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about this striping kit, what it looks like, and how it exactly works. Philip's gonna tell you a little bit more about how we're gonna actually install this piece of equipment. All right, so what you're gonna do is mount the red brackets onto the back of your deck. It's already pre-drilled, so it's easy. Then you're gonna assemble the roller onto the brass brackets here and then put it on the red brackets. There's also adjustment here 
for depending on whatever height of cut you got. Uh, and the way it works, as you're mowing along, it's just gonna roll and it's gonna comb the grass. Lay it one way or the other, depending on which way direction you're going. You know, one thing that I really like about this striping kit is that it's adjustable. Depending on what type or species of grass you have, you may have to adjust the height of your striping kit. Obviously, for a taller grass like fescue, you're gonna to wanna to stripe it a lot higher. It has a lower setting for grasses like Bermuda or some of the other warmer season grasses that you need to be mowed a lot lower. You can lower your striping kit and it's just gonna enhance your stripe a lot more with the XMark striping kit. So Philip's gonna show us how to install this guy. If you're interested in actually purchasing one of these pieces of equipment, check the link in the description box. We're gonna link a retailer close to you where you can buy one. Let's go put it on, Philip. All right, sounds good. Uh, we've got it on our easy lift right here and it's locked out for safety purposes so we don't have anything crashing down on top of us. All right, so Brian, we've already installed this side here because it's a tight squeeze with this baffle right here. So now if you wanna go ahead and get your side. All right. I'll hold it for you. Line that guy up there. Put it at the top of the first probably. All right only four bolts hold this whole thing. Yeah, only four bolts holds it on. I mean, that's that's all there is to Pretty it. Pretty simple. Yeah, it is. With an extra set of hands and an easy lift, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it makes it really a lot easier. This is nice working under this because you can see and get your hands exactly where you need to do them, get them at, and you can see what you're doing. There you go. I would highly recommend uh, watching a football game if you don't have a, look, a lift and letting your certified tech do it. All right. All right. There it is. Good deal. Easy right. as that. She's done. All right, Philip. this job is done, man. Yes, I sir. appreciate you helping sure us thing. with it today. Hey, this only took 10 or 15 minutes to install. It was a super easy install. And now this X Mark Moore, is ready to stripe like a pro. All right, Doug, back to you, my man. Well, Brian and I hope that this supplemental video has answered the questions you have so that you too can try your hand at lawn striping in your own yard. As always, please check us out at xmark.com backyard for more done in a weekend project ideas. And don't forget about the resources and links we provided on this video to help you with your lawn striping. Thanks, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.